we start our comment, the Shayast, the Shayast, with how chapter one, zero, is like Bachman Yast, chapter one, zero, in its, for him whose writing I am. Now, is it their writing that's being transferred? Or is it writing on their behalf, or representing them in writing? As revealed by the Avesta, it is said in the Vendadad. And this refers to Vendadad 4, verses 54 to 114, where seven classes of assault and their respective punishments are detailed in our text. Eight classes of sin are named, although only seven degrees are mentioned, the second and third classes being apparently arranged together, as one degree of sin in verse 2, or the inconsistency may have arisen from the addition of the Tharman, a class of sin or crime not mentioned in the Vendadad, unless indeed it be the Tharman, Spoktano, neglect of commandment, referring probably to parties like the Mans, although we can probably look at that and say, Poflavi Vendadad 6, 15. The other, the other seven classes are described in Poflavi Vendadad chapter 4, verses 54 to 57, 79, 85, 93, 99, 106. By the man whose weapon, our blow, is upraised for striking a man. That which is his, uh, Gera is thus implanted in him. When it is moved forward, that is, he makes it advance, it is thus his avo erist, that is, avo erist is implanted in him, and the ah gerept moves into it. Some say that it does not exist. When he comes on to him with thoughts of malice, that is, he places a hand upon him, it is thus his a reduce that is a reduce is implanted in him and the abo erist merges into it some say that it does not exist at the fifth a reduce the man even becomes a tana puhar things at sunrise of our krushendi and in the forenoon Ka'iti, Kasti, are no more apart. Whoever inflicts the reduced blow on a man, it is one fifth of a wound. Rash. Whoever inflicts that which is a cruel, whore, heart on a man, it is one fourth of a wound. Whoever inflicts that which is a bleeding core on a man, it is one third of a wound. Whoever shall give a man a bone-breaking core, it is half a wound. Whoever strikes a man, a blow which puts him out of consciousness, shall give a whole wound. This description does not mention Vazai and Yat, unless they be the two severer kinds of core, but Baza'i occurs in the Pahlavi Vendadad, chapter 4, verse 115, 5, 107, 13, 38, though Yat seems not to be mentioned in the Vendadad, Aradus occurs again in the Pahlavi Vendadad, 3, 151, and Kor in the Pahlavi Vendadad, 3, 48, 13, 38, and Yasna, 56, 4, 2. Um, a get rep reminds you uh, of a particular name in the Primorium Verum, and perhaps this is where the whole thing comes from. That these seven degrees 
uh, Yuck of Sin, I mentioned Revelation, Witcher of Harmon, Agarept, Abu Erist, Arduce, Hor, Baza'i, Yat, and Tanapuha. Also, um, Abu Erist is also written Avo Urist, uh, I mean Avo Urist, Avirist, Avirist, Avo Kurist, and Avakorist, and other places. Napuhar. Five of these names are really slight alterations of the Avestan. Ah, Gerupta, Ava, O Erista, Aradus, Avara, and Tanu Paratha. And the last one's also known as Hera Totanu, or Peshotanu. The last seven degrees are also noticed in a very obscure passage in the Tharhang Oak, page 36-37, correcting the text from the old manuscript, and the six, and K-20, as follows. Agarept, seized, is that when they shall take a weapon for smiting an innocent person? Abo Eris, turning, is that when one turns the weapon upon an innocent person? When through sinfulness, one lays the weapon on a sinner? The name is Aradus, or whatever reaches the source of life. The name is Tor. The one explains Pazai as smiting, and Yat as going to. And the soul of a man ought to be withstanding as a counterstroke is the penalty for a yacht when it has been so much away from the abode of life. In like manner, Agarept, Avo Erist, Aradus, Kor, Azai, and Yacht are also called good works, which are performed in like proportions and are called by the names of weights and measures in the same manner of Peshokanus, Tanum, Ta'ir, Yetta, the meaning is a Tanapuhar, as they call a good work of 300 a Tanapuhar, on account of 300 like proportions of the same kind and meaning of its name. Tanapuhar, thereupon, enters into sin. A core is just like that description of a wound from which the blood comes, irrespective of where, how, how much, and wherewith it is inflicted. It is that which is a wound from the beginning, and that which will result therefrom. The application of this scale of offenses is, however, not confined to these particular forms of assault, but it has been extended since the Avesta was compiled, to all classes of sins, and also to the good works which are supposed to counterbalance them. A farman is the weight of four steers, and each steer is four deer hums. Ugon. The deer hum has been variously estimated at different times as a weight of 45 to 67 grains. Perhaps 50 grains may be taken as the meaning of the text, and the steer may therefore be estimated at 200 grains. The Greeks used both these weights, which they called the drachma and the stathar. And the amount of them which is special, especially that which is most said to be one dirham. The 
amounts of these first three degrees of sin are differently stated in other places. See chapter 11, verse 2, 16, 1 to 3, and 5. It is difficult to understand why the amounts of agorept and aboerist should here be stated as less than that of a farman, and some Parsis therefore read vihast as an irregular form of vist, 20, instead of vesast is most, so that they may translate the amount as 20 dirhams, but to obtain this result they would have to make further alterations in the Pahlavi text and a passage quoted by Spiegel in his traditional literature, Der Parson, from the Rivayat, manuscript P12 in the Bibliothèque Nationale at Paris, it is stated that Farman is seven steers, a garept twelve steers, an avo erist fifteen steers, another rivayat makes the Farman eight steers. All manuscripts have Aradus C, and Aradus is thirty, leaving it doubtful whether Dirhams or Steers is meant, and the same mode of writing is adopted in chapter 11, 2, in reference to the, an Aradus is thirty Steers, and a Tanapuhar is three hundred Steers. All authorities agree that the amounts of the last five degrees of sin, these amounts are the supposed weights of the several sins in the golden scales of the angel Rashnu, C. A. V. 5. 5. So is that the Vesta chapter 5? 5. five? When the soul is called to account for its actions during life, after the third night, after death, see Mukti 2, 14, 122, its sins are supposed to be then weighed against its good works, which are estimated by the same scale of degrees. See the passage already quoted from Bark Ak. Oh, they should really just get the full name with these things. Um, in page 240, note 2, and is sent directly to heaven or hell, or an intermediate place, according to its good works, our sins preponderate, are, are both equal, in the Avesta of the Vendadad. However, whence these degrees are derived, we find them forming merely a graduated scale of assaults. Extending from first lifting the hand to smite even unto manslaughter. And for each of these seven degrees of assault, a scale of temporal punishments is prescribed according to the number of times the offense has been committed. These punishments consist of a uniform series of lashes with a horsewhip or scourge, extending from a minimum of five lashes to a maximum of 200. See Vendadad 4, 58 to 114. Each degree of assault commencing at a different point on the scale of punishments for the first offense and gradually arising through a scale with each repetition of the offense so that the more aggravated assaults attain the maximum punishment by means of a smaller number of repetitions. Thus, the punishments prescribed from the Agarepta, from the first to the eighth offense, are 5, 10, 15, 30, 50, 70, 90, and 200 lashes, respectively those uh, for Ava O Erista, from the first to the seventh offense, extended on the same scale from 10 to 200 lashes, those for are reduced from the first to the sixth offense, or from 15 to 200 lashes, those for bruised hurt, Havara, from the first to the fifth offense, are 30 to 200 lashes, those for a bleeding hurt, from the first to the fourth offense, are 50 to 200 lashes, 
Those for bone breaking hurt from the first to the third offense are from 70 to 200 lashes. Those for hurt depriving of consciousness are life. For the first and second offense are 90 and 200 lashes. The maximum punishment of 200 lashes is prescribed only when the previous offenses have not been atoned for, and it is to be inflicted on in all such cases. However, few are trifling the previous assaults have been. Now, the same scale from the first seventh offenses, so would that be... Ten, twenty, thirty, sixty, and seventy. A hundred and ten, a hundred and fifty. And then 200. And in the administration of the primitive faith, uh, the primitive faith, it's not meaning that it's, you know, not advanced or something like that. Um, it means that, that, you know, in terms of technology or living in the modern world or something like this. It just means that this was the faith early on. Um, in manuscript 6, we have Por Yod Keshi, but Por Yod Keshan of those of the primitive faith in K20 from the Avestan Pa O Iryo Ka Esha of Yasna 147, 365, 4, 53, 22, 33. Travardin Yast 0, 90, and 156. Upon Repithwin 2. It is a term applied to what is considered as the true Mazdayastian religion in all ages, both before and after the time of Zaratust. Gogo Sasp spoke otherwise. One of the old commentators whose opinions are frequently quoted in Pahlavi books, see chapter 2, Verse 74 and 82 and 119. Pathavi Vendadad 3, 48 and 138 and 151. 4, 35, 5, 14 and 121. 6, 9, 64, 7, verse 6 and 136. 8, verse 64 and 236. 15, verse 35, 48. 56 and 67, 16 verse 5, 18 verse 98 and 124, and 13 times in the Nirangastan, his name is sometimes written as Gosasp, as it is here both in M6 and K20, sometimes Gogososp, and spoke otherwise in the teaching, probably a written Exposition, our commentary is meant. Ataro Uharmazd. The commentator is mentioned once in the Nigrangistan as Ataro Uharmazdan. Soshans. The commentator is mentioned in chapter 2, 56, 74, 80, 118, 119, 3, verse 13. 6, verse 4 and 5, also in the Pathlavi Vendadad, chapter 3, verses 64 and 69, and 151, 4, 6, 5, 48, and 100, uh, 7, and 80, and 121, 
and 146, 153, 6, 15, 64, 73, 7, 4, and 136, 168, 8, 28, 59, 303, 9, 184, 13, 20, 16, 7, 10, 17, 20 to 22, 27, 18, 98, and 46 times in the Nirangastan, he was a namesake of the last of the future apostles and sons of Zaratust, see Bundahist, 32, 8, and his name is often written Soshans and read Sa Oshios or Socios, Socios by Pazand writers. Otherwise, the teaching of Ataro Frobag no Sa'i This commentator is mentioned once in the Nirangastan and may probably be the Ataro Frobag of Bahmanyast 1-7. Compare also Nosai Burz Mitro, the name of another commentator in chapter 8, verse 18. And Madokma. This commentator is mentioned in chapters 2, verses 1, 11, 12, 89, 5, verses 5 and 6. Also in the Pathlavi Vendadad 3, 151, 5, 6, 58, 107, 8, 48, 110, 9, 132, 13, 99, 14, 37, and four times in the Nirangastan. His name is sometimes written as Medyokma or Maidokma, and he was a namesake of Zaratustra's cousin and the first disciple. See Bundahis 32, verses 2 and 3. The Vagarkard uh, the, the uh, Dinik professes to have been compiled by Mediokma, but there appear to have been several priests of this name. See Bundahis 33, verse 1. Gosasp in manuscript 6 is Gogosasp. Aparg. As a commentator mentioned in chapter 2, verse 2, and 64, and 73, and 88, and 115, 5, verses 5 and 6, also in the Pathlavi Vendadad 3, verses 48 and 115, 5, verse 6, 14, 22, and 58, 146, 6, 9, 7, 6, 61, 93, 136, 8, 48, 64, 110, 250, 9, 132, 13, 99, 14, 14, and 37, 1984, Pathavi, Yast, 64, verse 37, once in Far Oak, and 38 times in the Nirangastan. And all those of the primitive faith rely upon these six teachings. Well, then obviously it's not the most primitive, because if it's the part of one of the revivals, That. So both manuscripts have three, although four teachings and six commentators are mentioned in the previous section, and a fifth teaching is mentioned in chapter 2, verse 2. The original reading was probably six, rather than four, as Apophagy 6 requires merely the omission of a cipher to become three, whereas Apophagy 4 must be altered to produce the same blunder. Several other commentators are mentioned in Pothelby books, such as Ataropad, son of Badad Baruch, twice in the Nirangastan, Azad Mard, nine times in the Nirangastan, Varashand, Uhramazd, once in the 
Nirangastan, Dad, uh, Uharmazd, and Bahman Yast, chapter 1, verse 1, 7, chapter 3, verse 16, the path of the Yasna, number 10, verse 57, 11, 22, Dad, Farut, in Pathlavi Vendadad 5, Adam 12, 6, 64, and twice in Nirangastan, Dad, Evre, 17 times in Nirangastan, Baruko, thrice in Nirangastan, Kiratano, Buged, in Pathlavi Vendadad 5, 80, 6, 15, 9, 184, 13, 20. He's called the Kirmanik in Pathlavi Vendadad 4, 35, and Dastur Hoshangje thinks his name is merely a variant of the next Kushtano Buged in Shayast Lashayast 2, 57, 81, 118. 6, 6, 8, 17, Pahlavi Vendadad, 3, 64, and 69, 4, 6, 5, 48, 6, 53, 64, 73, 8, 28, 16, 17, 21, 22, and 27, and 22 times in Rangistan, Mah, Uharmazd, in Pahlavi Vendadad, 7, 82, Mah, Gosaspo, Mah, Gosospo, Mah, Gospo, Mah, Vasp, and Pathavi, Yasna, 933, Pathavi, Vendadad, 3, 138, and 10 times in the Narangistan, Mah, Vandad, Mah, Vindad, and Bahman, Yast, 3, 3, Pathavi, Yasna, 933, 10, 57, 11, 22, 19, 27, Mardabud in Shalas de Shalas, 2, 96, and twice in Narangastan, where he is called the son of Dadgun. Neryosang in Shalas Yeshayast, 8, 13, Pathavi Vendadad, 5, 22, Nikshapuhar, or Nishapuhar, in Pahlavi Vendadad 3, 151, 512, 671, 864, 1610, Avesta chapter 1, 35, or something else, AV, um, and 24 times in Nirangistan, Nosai Burz Mitro, in Shalas Yashalas, 8, 18, Parik or Pirik in the Papa the Vendadad 3, 138, 5, 14, and 134, 7, 82, and 93, 8, 64, and once in Nirangistan, Roshan or Roshano, which is the Sekand Gumani states, was the name of a commentary written by. Roshan, son of Ataro Frobag, in Shalas de Shalas 2, 39, 86, and 107, Bahman Yas 3, 3, Pahlavi Yasna 9, 5, and 14, Pahlavi Vendadad 3, 48, and 5, 112, 134, 176, 7, 93, 17, 11, and 11 times in the Narangistan. Disciples of Vakt, Efrido, possibly Bakht, Efrid, of Shalas Yishalas 20, 11, Bahman Yast 1, 7, are mentioned once in the Nirangastan. Vand Auharmazd and Shalas Yishalas 2, 2, 6, 44, chapter 14, verse 5, Pathavi Vendadad 6, 73, and Veh Dost once. In page 245 of the Nurangistan, it must, however, be observed that the reading of some of these names is very uncertain. And I would question whether or not um, the paging is the same in some of these different um, texts, right?
like like some a lot of the Muslims will like refer to the page number of particular editions, and it's like you got chapters and verses. Use chapters and verses. 